So there are a handful of brands that I would classify as being underrated. As you get into more of the attainable world or the attainable luxury world of watchmaking, it becomes harder to probably fit this claim just because most people, I would say, give kudos to those that are able to provide value in the marketplace. But there's one brand that I think needs to be considered as probably being overlooked by too many people, and that is Baum and Mercier. And I would say the best representation of maybe giving people a sense of, oh wait, I should maybe consider this more, is with a watch that I would say is my favorite from the brand and offering some very unique value in the marketplace with the Baum & Mercier Clifton Baumatic. A watch with a COSC certified movement with a five day power reserve and falling in a very unique price range that allows it to separate from pretty much anything else out there. Today we're looking at a midnight blue dial that I think is one of my personal favorites and a great way of walking the line between dress and casual attire. Let's jump in. So with this video, I am very happy and proud to announce that TeddyBaldessar.com has recently become an authorized dealer of Baum & Mercier. The brand, as mentioned earlier, is probably one of the most underrated brands within its price segment, offering some of the more compelling movements in its price category, and has timeless styling that makes them an interesting brand to investigate further. We have members of their Classima collection, the Sporty Riviera, and of course, the Clifton collection with a variety of different colors. If you like what you see here with this video today, I definitely recommend checking it out on TeddyBaldessar.com. So before looking at this watch, let's first provide a full picture of Baum & Mercier. It was founded in 1830 in Switzerland, with the brand now residing underneath the larger umbrella of the Richemont Group, a group that has a collection of brands that include JLC, Langa, Vacheron Constantin, IWC, Cartier, just to name a few. As will be evident when covering the Clifton, Baum & Mercier aims to act as a gateway to luxury option with an emphasis on value for dollar, both in terms of their finishing and the calibers. And while B&M has largely leaned into third-party calibers in the past, in 2018, they unveiled a new proprietary movement at SIHH within their Clifton Baumatic collection after five years of research and development. The movement helped quickly separate the brand from the competition by way of its features and extended power reserve that quite frankly blows pretty much everything else away at its price range around $3,000. And I think if you get into the core of why this watch is compelling, I think you have to start with the movement. Following in the footsteps of the Clifton Manual 1830 debuted in 2017, which marked the first use of a silicon balance spring produced by the Richemont brand, the automatic Clifton Baumatic caliber showcases some surprising technical up spec that contrasts with the rest of the watch's more traditional presentation. Like its manual predecessor, the Balmatic Caliber offers a silicon balance spring set with a free sprung assembly and adds a skeletonized silicon escapement wheel with a silicon lever, in turn bringing the magnetic resistance of this caliber to a capable 1500 gauss. Yet perhaps even more notable than the peace of mind delivered by the higher level of magnetic resistance, the escapement is also optimized to a degree to extract a lengthy 120 hour or five day power reserve from a single barrel. In recent years, we have started to see a standard for power reserves begin to rise. However, 120 hours is an industry leading number, especially considering there's no reduction of the beat frequency of the movement, a common procedure from many other brands out there or those that use ETA based calibers uh, within the Swatch Group. The Balmatic here also is regulated and COSC certified, offering a guaranteed level of accuracy between minus four to plus six seconds a day, with this example keeping time well within that range at plus two to plus four seconds when testing across five different positions. Looking beyond its technical acumen, the movement also offers at least some level of elevation and visual aesthetics with a variety of machine finishing techniques. A skeletonized and signed rotor is complete with Geneva waves and a deeper outer edge that rotates with a channel surrounding the central bridges, which are themselves complete with micro perlage. There are a few polished screw heads, some directional graining at the base plates, circumference, and other subtle hints of polishing. While the level of finishing is not gonna be the leading reason for this movement's significance, it's again an important thing to keep in mind the standard typically associated with this price range and showcasing typically off-the-shelf third-party calibers with little in the area of up specification. Yet despite the movement being a leading point of separation, the rest of the watch does help its case even further. So the case of the Clifton Balmatic is 40 millimeters in diameter with a restrained dimension from the lug to lug of 46.6 millimeters and thickness of 10.9 millimeters. Now the upside of this watch to me from the design perspective is its ability of walking the line from casual to dress 
failing to look out of place in a variety of different environments with the dial color chosen certainly dictating some of this. The wearability leans more compact than its proposed 40 millimeters, wearing like a 39 millimeter in practice, and its limited verticality will assist in the dressier environments when there's a need for the case to inconspicuously slide underneath a shirt cuff. The case shape is rounded off at the lugs with a sloping thin bezel, showcasing high polish on all the anterior facing segments of steel. The non-screw down crown at three operates in typical fashion, hand winding, date change, and precise time setting with hacking feature being the order of the three crown positions and assisting in the watch's 50 meters of water resistance. Along the side of the case, we are greeted with a horizontal brush pattern spanning the length of the structure, giving way to transitioning of the polished facet across the lugs for visual interest. Between the said lugs is 20 millimeters in an embossed alligator style strap with thick square scales matching the dark and vividness of the central dial in this instance. It tapers down to an 18 millimeter polished deployant signed with the B&M logo. The clasp contains a two button release and a friction lock hatch used to size the strap to the appropriate hole. The factory strap contains unconventional curved spring bars that limits the distance of the strap from the case, giving a bespoke look to the seamless integration. That said, the strap does come with quick release functionality and the lugs have two sets of spring bar positions, creating more possibility for straps in the future if you did decide to change them. At the initial launch of the Clifton Balmatic, there were not as many dial colors as there are now. The dials go from conventional white to more colorful styles in green and red. However, my favorite is here with this midnight blue with a gradient display transitioning to black at its outskirts. Starting at its periphery, the dial leans into finely printed Arabic markings in stark white at the five minute positions with each resting just outside the faceted applied dart shape indices with linear graduations in between. At the center, polished and faceted lance style hands manage time telling duties set over a dial crosshair printed in white. Dial text present is symmetrical at 12 and six with two lines and topped with the brand logo printed atop at the 12. At three, a rectangular date wheel with rounded corners gives way to a black date disc that adds utility yet seamlessly fits as a result of the darkened outskirts of the dial surface. There is no presence of loom here, yet despite this, I think this is one of the unique representations of what maybe a contemporary watch should look like if you are trying to lean into maybe those formal situations and also not looking out of place uh, for the casual type of scenarios. So now for some closing thoughts on this Clifton Baumatic and just my opinion on this piece and the reason why I, th I think I just made this claim of it being very underrated. So if you look at the industry, there are very rare instances where a brand can maybe claim that they have almost a ownership over a particular domain or style of watch in its price segment. And I think this is probably one of those rare instances, but still probably one of the more underrated watches out there. Making the case why I think really comes down to the movement. If you look at the industry for around say $3,000, you do have some good offerings just below from the likes of Nomos and Longines. If you stretch a little bit far, you can get into the Omega coaxial calibers and then maybe some uh, offerings from JLC as you start to go and ascend up even further. But right around $3,000, this is a price range that's somewhat up for grabs. And when you think about dress watches, a kind of design style that unfortunately has almost fallen out of favor for many collectors, but of course not all, there's still people that want a contemporary take on a dress watch. If that is you and you have $3,000 to spend, this has to be a watch to be considered. The power reserve, accuracy with the cost certification and that price range, you're just simply not going to potentially beat that. That five day power reserve is an industry setting standard for this price range. You do see that available in some higher priced items in the world of watchmaking, but for around $3,000, typically what you're gonna find as the standard is closer to 70 to 80 hours for a power reserve if you are exceptional in the range, if you're maybe leading. So to see some additional two days be topped on that, is certainly interesting and why I think this watch is compelling. You have nice dimension set coming in really wearing like a 39 millimeter case, which I think is a nice middle ground for kind of, again, getting back to that idea of what I was speaking about of walking the line between casual, as well as not looking out of place for those more formal situations and vice versa. Finishing is also good across the case and the dial, variety of different dial colors to choose from. If you want something more daring, you can look at the more colorful options. I think this midnight blue is the kind of perfect middle ground of maybe being more daring without maybe overstepping into an arena where you can't get the same level of versatility. But with all this said, how could this watch even be overrated with all these things that I'm saying? I think 
it ultimately comes down to maybe this watch not catering to the common desires for sports watches in the market because this isn't really going to fit that mold. Also being from a brand that maybe isn't going to be the most hyped out there. But if you get down and dirty to maybe what you want a watch to be for $3,000, maybe what you would like to have from a feature set in the looks department, as well as the wearability aspect. If you just want a solid watch for $3,000 and you're not searching for what is going to be the most hype piece in the world, but just want something that delivers from a value perspective and giving some good upside in the process on these points of uh, the power reserve, accuracy, dimensions, and also being well finished, that's where the Clifton Balmatic is unique and is probably one of the more overlooked watches in the price segment that it represents and probably for no really good reason. But all right guys, that is my take on the Clifton Balmatic. I've talked about this watch in the past in many list style videos and I do think it is an overlooked timepiece. What is your take on Bauman Mercier as a brand as well as this watch specifically? This was really the first watch that when this was unveiled that I was like, that makes a lot of sense. And this started to get B&M more on my radar, uh, but love to hear thoughts down below as well. Of course, if you like what you saw here today with this watch, it is available on teddybalvester.com, full authorized dealer of Bauman Mercier. We'll link to it in the description down below, as well as some other articles that might be helpful if you like this style of watch. I will also have some different breakdowns of dress watches, different minimalist style watches that might be in your wheelhouse as well if you are interested in a watch like this. If you wanna stay up to date with the content, be sure to follow along on Instagram and sign up for our newsletter with a dedicated written content being sent to your inbox every single week. But guys, thank you again so much for watching. Be well, and I will see you all very soon.